praise God. Ready? Psalm 121. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from which cometh my help. My help comes from the Lord. I am hope I am hoping. I am hoping and waiting eagerly for your salvation, O Lord, and I do your commandments. Your testimonies have I kept, hearing, loving, and obeying them. I love them exceedingly. I have observed your precepts and your testimonies for all my life. Let my mournful cry and supplication come before you, Lord. Give me understanding according to your word. Let my supplication come before you. Deliver me according to your word. My lips shall pour forth praise with thanksgiving and tr renewed trust when you teach me your statutes. My tongue shall sing praises for the fulfillment of your word, for all your commandments are righteous. Let your hand be ready to help me, for I have chosen your precepts. I have longed for your salvation, O Lord, and your law is my delight. Let me live that I may praise you and let your decrees help me. I have gone astray like a lost sheep. Seek for and demand your servant, for I do not forget your commandments. These are such good prayers to pray and praise God for the, for the victory, for what you're going through, for what David was going through. This is the things he praised and prayed for. Their prayers and their and their praises unto the Lord about what has what's going on here. Now 123 Psalms, just a couple Psalms later, it says, Unto you do I lift up mine eyes, O you who are enthroned in heaven. Behold, as the eye of a servant look to the hand of their master, as the eye of a maid to the hand of her mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord our God until he has mercy and loving kindness for us. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on your on and loving kindness for us, for we are exceedingly satiated with contempt. Our life is exceedingly filled with the scorning and scoffing of those who are at ease and with the contempt of the proud who disregard God's laws. And that's twenty one twenty three. But I look unto you, okay, number one twenty four. If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, now may Israel say, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side when men rose up against us, then they would have quickly swallowed us up alive when their wrath was kindled against us. Then the waters would have overwhelmed us and swept us away. The torrent would have gone over us. The proud waters would have gone over us. Blessed be the Lord who has not given us as prey to their teeth. We are like a bird escaped from the snare of the fowler. The snare is broken and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Hallelujah. And that's the truth. We are escaped from that snare of the enemy. We praise you. We praise the Lord. Okay, Psalm 123, 120. For now, Psalm 125, those who trust and lean on and confidently hope in the Lord are, Mount, are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but abides and stands forever. As the mountains are round about Jerusalem, so the Lord is round about his people from this time forth and forever. For the scepter of wickedness shall not rest upon the land of the, of the uncompromisingly righteous. Let's the righteous, God's people, stretch forth their hands to inquire. Unless we stretch forth our hands to inquire. Do good, O Lord, to those who are good and to those who are right with you and all people in their hearts. As for such as turn aside to their crooked ways, indifferent, indifference to God, the Lord will lead them forth with the workers of iniquity. Peace be upon Israel. In Psalm 128, 128 says, Blessed, happy, fortunate to be envied is everyone who fears and worships the Lord, who walks in his ways and lives according to his commandment. For you will eat the fruit of the labor of your hands. Happy shall you be, and it shall be well with you. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the, in the innermost parts of your house. Your children shall be like olive plants round about your table. 
Behold, thus shall the man be blessed who reverently and worshipfully fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you out of Zion, and may you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Yes, may you see your children's children. Peace be upon Israel. And that's for your family. That's for your inheritance. That's what your children, your children's children, your inheritance. Many a time, Psalm 129, many a time and much have they afflicted me from my youth up. Let Israel now say, many a time and much have they afflicted me from my youth up, yet they have not prevailed against me. The powers, the plowers plowed upon my back. They made long their furrows. The Lord is righteous. He has cut the thick cords by which the wicked enslave us let them all be put to shame and turn backward who hate zion let them be as the grass upon the housetops which wither before it grows up with which the mower fills not his hand nor the binder the sheaves of his bosom while those who go by do not say the blessing of the lord be upon you we bless you in the name of the lord and then psalm 130 out of the depths have i cried to you o lord Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplication. If you, Lord, would keep account in tr of my sin, O Lord, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with you, that you may be reverently feared and worshipped. I wait for the Lord, expectantly wait, and in his word do I hope. I am looking and waiting for the Lord more than watchmen for the morning. More than watchmen for the morning. O Israel, hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is mercy and loving kindness, and with him is plenteous redemption, and he will redeem Israel from their iniquities. And when you hear Israel in Psalms, it's basically us. It's the people of God. Israel is God's chosen nation. It's Israel, his people. And so when we're praying the Psalms, it's your family, it's your community in God you know you're you're one with each other your brothers and sisters in the Lord and it's those who know him who serve who know God just like Jesus said